by popular demand. You wanted it, you've got it. Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. Today, by popular demand, we are going to look at the head-to-head -head battles of Indoraptor Gen 2. Yes, the fans wanted to see more counters and more how to play against Indo Gen 2, or maybe they just wanted to see how to play against Yoshi. But this was the most requested matchup in my comments last week. Next week, I think I will focus more on something to help you for the weekend tournament. But because this weekend's tournament is anything goes for epics, it's kind of hard to actually pick out any particular matchup. So you guys wanted it and you guys got it. Now, if you're not already following me on Twitch, there is a link in the description below. Come over, hang out. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I will do live streams. Fridays are going to be centered around the particular tournament for that weekend. So if you are looking for team builds or if you just wanna see some medium level gameplay, make sure you check out my stream. As always, if you want more information on what I'm doing when I post a new video or when I am live on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter. Again, links down in the description below. And if you are enjoying the content here on YouTube, make sure that you are subscribed. If you like this particular video and this particular video series, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to turn on alerts so you know when next video goes live. The first thing we need to do when looking at Indoraptor Gen 2 and Yoshi is the tail of the tape. The health stats on this actually favor Indo Gen 2 with 3,900 to Yoshi's 3,600. The attacks though, that is actually going to favor Yoshi at 1550 compared to Indo Gen 2's 1400. The speed also is in Yoshi's favor at 131 to 128. And that's actually gonna play a big factor in how you want to play this head-to-head -head matchup. The crit chance, Indo 20%, Yoshi just the 5%, and neither one of these creatures have any armor. One disclaimer before we go into this video, just remember that there are an infinite number of play combinations that can happen during any given match. I cannot account for all those. So I'm going to go over three that are most likely. Additionally, I can't account for crits. They are a part of the game, but when I'm factoring in all of this, I'm just going to factor in that crits aren't going to happen and user experience may vary. And finally, I want to give a big shout out to IDGT and T-Rex who helped put this all together for me. And again, Tridemption for helping me recreate these battles. The first sequence of moves that I want to look at is going to be Yoshi's best moveset for a win. Now that you know that, we are going to roll the tape. Since you know that Yoshi is faster at 131 speed, it's going to go evasive stance. That's going to minimize the amount of damage that Indoraptor Gen 2 can do. At this point, Indo Gen 2 can hit through the evasive stance with a cautious strike. So that is the best play available. It's also going to give you the speed lead. Now you have a couple of choices here. In this particular situation, Indo Gen 2 is going to repeat the cautious strike in order to ensure that it does the most damage possible. Unfortunately, that's going to set up Yoshi for a Null Strike and then a Distracting Rampage. And it doesn't really matter what Endo does here, it is going to lose. In this particular situation, we went with Evasive Stance and it gets knocked out. But even if it didn't, Yoshi was going to be faster and could go Null Strike on the next attack. And that is going to give your Yoshi the victory. Option number two for this battle is going to be a Risk versus Reward for Endo Gen 2. Much like in the first example, Yoshi being faster is going to open with evasive stance. Similarly, just like before, Indoraptor Gen 2's best option is to go with Cautious Strike. Now, if you want to take the higher risk, you can go for Defense Shattering Rampage on this next turn. Now, Yoshi can do anything it wants because if you hit through the evasive, then you're going to get the knockout. If you don't hit through the evasive, then you're going to leave Yoshi with a lot more HP. So it really is all about your risk tolerance in this particular matchup. In the third and final matchup, I'm going to tell you what not to do if you have Yoshi in this situation. If you open with Null Strike instead of going Evasive Stance, you are going to lose. Indo Gen 2 is going to go Cautious Strike on turn two, and it really doesn't matter what Yoshi does on turn three. Defense Shattering Rampage and then Cautious Strike again is going to deliver the victory 
for you if you're Indo Gen 2. I would typically say that that's probably a pretty big misplay on your opponent's part. So if you are opening a battle with Indo Gen 2 and your opponent is opening a battle with Yoshi, you might want to just swap out of that bad matchup. So there you have it. The most likely scenarios of the matchup of Yoshi versus Indo Gen 2. Are you surprised by the results? I know that I am. I did not know that Yoshi pretty much took care of Indo Gen 2 hands down as long as you didn't play it poorly. One thing I did forget to mention earlier, because this is a simulated battle, all levels are level 26. There are no stat boosts involved. So very rarely is this particular matchup ever going to present itself. But I hope that this gives you a better idea of how to proceed should you find yourself in this matchup. If you see that your opponent's Yoshi is faster and stronger than you are, then you have to make the decision. Do you just cut your losses and move on and swap out into something else? Or do you set up your Indo Gen 2 to be taken out and hopefully do enough damage to set up your next creature? I hope this video was informative to you. I hope that you learned something from this and you can help yourself improve in the battle arenas. Remember, I will be streaming on Twitch on Friday. You can catch me in the link down in the description below. I'm not exactly sure what time, so make sure you're following me on Twitter as well but we will be doing arena battles. I have a lot of hopes for this particular weekend's battles because it is epics, all boosts, all levels, and I have a level 30 gamma with a lot of boosts in it that I'm hoping can create some havoc. That's all I've got for this one, so until next time.